In this lesson, you're going to learn how to assess the reasonableness of products of two factors using front-end estimation. You know that when you complete a problem that you have to check the answer. One way to check an answer is to do the problem over again. Another way is to see if the answer is reasonable or makes mathematical sense. Today we will check the reasonableness of multiplication problem answers using front-end estimation. Front-end estimation is when we keep the first digit of our factors the same and then we multiply. Let's look at a problem to try out this idea. Grace multiplied 77 by 43 and got 3,311. Is this reasonable? Why or why not? Well, Grace multiplied 77 times 43, so we'll write this down. To see if Grace ans Grace's answer is reasonable, we'll keep the first digit of both numbers, since this is front end estimation, and then we'll multiply. The front of 77 is 7, so it becomes 7D. The front of 43 is 4, so it becomes 4D. Essentially, we rounded both of those down. 70 times 40 gives us 2,800. Was Grace's answer reasonable? Right away, we can see that 2,800 has the same number of digits as 3,311, and that both numbers are near 3,000. So we can see that Grace's answer is in the right ballpark and in this way looks reasonable at first. We could stop there, but to really see if Grace's answer is reasonable, we can look more in depth at how much our front end estimation was off from the real problem to see how reasonable her answer really was. Well, 70 was off from 77 by 7. That difference of 7 multiplied by the 40 in the other factor gives us 280 that we were off by. 40 was off from 43 by 3. The difference of 3 multiplied by the 70 in the other factor gives us 210 that we were off by. So altogether, we were off by 280 plus 210 equals 490. That was our error. That's how much we missed it by. Our front end estimation was off by 490 about. 2,800, which was our original estimate, plus 490 gives us 3,290. That's what our estimate is. This is extremely close to Grace's 3,311. So if we look closer, it shows even better that Grace's answer was definitely reasonable. Let's look at a second problem to see this further. Fernando multiplied 943 times 7 and got 5,811. Was his answer reasonable? Why or why not? Well, we multiplied these two numbers, so we'll write them down. And to see if Fernandez's answer is reasonable, we'll write the first digit of each factor, since this is front-end estimation, followed by the appropriate number of zeros to fill the rest of the zeros, the rest of the digits. 943 becomes 900. 7 stays 7, because the front of it is 7 and there's nothing else to fill in. So we multiply 900 and 7, and we get 6,300. Was Fernando's re answer reasonable? Again, at first it looks like it might be. Fernando gave a product of 5,811 when our estimate was 6,300. These are both relatively close to 6,000, so Fernando's answer is in the right ballpark, if not way off. Let's look closer to see if it really was reasonable. 943 is bigger than 900. So the real answer to this problem should be bigger than 6,300 because 900 times 7 is 6,300. 943 times 7 should be bigger than that. 5,811 though is smaller than 6,300. So even though these two are similar and 5,811 is in the right ballpark, 5,811 cannot be considered reasonable because it's smaller than 6,300 when our actual answer that Fernando was looking for should have been bigger. So that's not reasonable. In this lesson, you learned how to assess the reasonableness of products of two factors using front-end estimation.